In this video we are going to take a look at the multi-threading uh, module in Love2D. So why are useful the multi-threading and what is multi-threading? So uh, multi-threading is some kind of parallelism, parallel computing, but it's not true parallel computing. It is, I think, uh, it is some kind of a concurrency. So you have a main thread, so if you run, now just we have an empty window, uh, and this window is run by the so-called main thread. And let's go back. And by multi-threading you can create separate threads, which means you when you create a separate thread, uh, it still runs on the same CPU, which runs your main thread, but now the CPU just executes the main thread, then jumps to the separate thread, executes that, and it jumps back to the main thread, executes that, so it jumps uh, from thread to thread, and uh, it always executes the uh, code. So, as I said, it's not true parallelis parallelism. Uh, because it still just uses one core of your CPU. So let's take a look. Uh, I'm going to create here a function. A function. And it will calcu calculate the squares of, the, of, of numbers uh, from 0 to 100,000. So I'm going to call it calc squares. Square squares. And, uh, I will create a for loop. Uh, it will start from one, not at zero. So from for i equals one until one hundred thousand. Do um, print out the i times i. And I'm going to end the for loop and also end the function. And let's call this function. First of all, I'm just going to show you how run, uh, how quickly runs the application when I press the play button. So now our application is responsive. So now let's call this function inside the love that load. So calc squares, and now you will see that until this function finishes calculating the uh, squares of these 100,000 numbers, the application will be f uh, unresponsive, so it will be in a frozen state. So now it prints the numbers, okay it finished. Oh, so quickly, uh, let's calculate for one million. And now, as you can see, the, the window is just uh, white, and it's also unresponsive. It, it not it, it it is not responding. We can do nothing with this window. Oh, you can move, we can move it, but until it finishes the calculation. Of this uh, of these squares, the window will be not uh, will be unresponsive. So if you have a calculation like this, then it is useful to just put it into a separate thread, so it doesn't blocks the main thread. So I'm created here a multi uh, .lua file, and here I'm going to put the same code, but now uh, I'm just going to show you the, uh, how to create. So I'm going to create a string oops, inside this square brackets and also uh, close these square brackets. And you can create multi-threaded code uh, like this, or you can create a separate file and just... Uh, I'm just going to show you first this one and, and then the second way. So I'm going to create a, 
uh, same for loop will i uh, for i equals one and go to um, this is one hundred thousand one million do uh, print i times i i'm so going to indent it and and the for loop uh, let me see and now here i'm going to create a function function called create thread create underscore thread and to create a thread first you create a variable and let's call it just thread and you can use the love that uh, thread thread that uh, new thread uh, not new channel but new new thread function or object so this love the thread that new thread needs one argument which is the which is the thread code so i'm going to give it the thread code so copy and paste and we need to also start the thread so thread colon start and end the function so now we have the same code as we had inside these uh, calculate squares and but now it is in the in a separate thread so i'm going to require this multi dot lua inside the main dot lua so require require between quotes uh, multi and i'm going to comment out this and just call the create create underscore thread function from this multi which is this function which will create the thread itself so let's let's run it and now as you can see the window is absolute responsive so it runs on a main thread and this separate thread absolutely is not blocking the main thread uh, okay and it's still running it will, it will run at least for i don't know one minute or more until it calculates all the squares from one to one million so this is how you can create separate threads it is useful in many cases i'm just going to close this let's say if you if you are if you want to create uh, multiplayer applications you can create the separate sockets uh, in separate threads or i don't know as you can see you can have absolutely every kind of calculations and it will not block the main thread so off screen i just created a new lua file called multi2.lua and inside this multi2.lua i just copied the same code which will calculate the squares from one to one million and print it out so just to show you how to load uh, a tr uh, code a thread code from a separate lua file so here i have the multi.lua i i'm just going to comment out with control control u this thread code and here i'm going to delete this and give it the multi two dot lua and don't forget that you need to put the dot lua here not just the multi you don't need to require this file you just need to put the name of the file 
with the extension .lua. So I'm going to save it. And now the separate thread will run this multi2.lua. So let me run it. And it works as before. So our window is absolutely responsive because it, it has its own thread, the main thread, and these calculations run on the separate thread. Probably I'm going to do one more video on how to get out the values from, from this separate thread and also how to add uh, input values to the separate thread.